So we have a new course on imaging of the uh, spine for arthropathies and spondylal arthropathies. And this is a bit different to the other courses that we have, uh, which are on MSK of the joints and also the spine, in that we have a clinician who's going to join us for the course. And that clinician is Dr. Joe Thomas. He is a senior consultant rheumatologist who's got a very strong interest in imaging and will join us to give us the clinical aspects that we as radiologists need to know uh, in order to better assess the scan and then also put out a, a better report that the rheumatologist actually wants to see. So why Dr. Joe? All right, so Joe and I met about five years ago. He came to one of our courses in Abu Dhabi and subsequently has done every other course. And he's got a big interest in imaging and we've collaborated a, a fair bit. And the reason for Joe to come in is that I think as radiologists, we generally don't learn enough about the important clinical aspects uh, of a condition that are required for us to assess the scan properly and then report it. The purpose is not to make radiologists into rheumatologists. It's really just to get that clinical aspect to know the important things that are required for us for our assessment of a scan and for reporting. And this is particularly important, I think, with spondyl arthropathy. They are very confusing and it's very useful to have the clinical side of it uh, to help us out with that. So is this course for radiologists or for rheumatologists? We are running it for both. So if you're a radiologist, the benefit of this is that you get that clinical aspect, which Joe will bring in, and then I will teach the imaging side of it and we will look at the various abnormalities of where to look, what to look for, how to report it, and then combine that clinical and radiological aspect so that you have a ability to issue a report that the rheumatologist wants to see. Now, if you are a rheumatologist, and we have a number of rheumatologists who come to the course, the aim, again, is not to make you into, into a radiologist. The aim is that you are able to look at the scans for yourself, look for the abnormalities, and if you have any doubts, then you're able to go down to the radiology department and discuss it with them with enough background knowledge to have a sensible discussion with them. So how does this collaboration between you and Dr. Joe play out? Yeah, so the content has been created by both of us. So Joe has done the clinical aspect of it, and I've done all the imaging aspect of it. and we will both be answering questions. Now, all of our courses are guided, and I think this is an important thing in that most courses are not guided. And the benefit of this is that if you have questions about things or small doubts, you know, you're able to discuss those and get answers to it. And I think that's a really important thing. That was a very important thing I found when I did my training and my fellowships, the ability to ask even the smallest of doubts that I had, and that reduces the amount of anxiety that you have when you're uh, reporting a scan. So are you saying that all the people who participate in the course have an ability to ask questions? Yeah, the, the course is designed is that you can ask questions at any time, uh, depending on whether it's a clinical question or an imaging question, either Joe or I will get back to you and we will do that within the course itself um, and make sure that you understand. A uh, couple of questions on that. What do you mean when you say within the course you can ask questions? And is there a limit on how many questions we can ask? Well, we have a learning management system which we run the course in. So this is basically a system where we have text and images and the DICOM. So you've got full access to the DICOM file for cases. Uh, so it's really like you would be looking at the case um, when you are at work. So that, that's the aim of it, to reproduce that. And within that learning management system, you're able to ask questions and we can give you answers either as text or as a voice or video, you know, whichever is the appropriate way to, to answer that question. You didn't answer my second question. Is there a limit to the number of questions I can ask? Okay, no limit. You can ask whatever you want, however much you want. Okay, so where can we find more information on this course? Yeah, so the course is on a website. There's an agenda there. There's also registration and there's an explanation of you know, what the course involves.